Hello. Hello, and today we've got former Stenhouse Muir, Aloha and Clyde Forward, Miller Matheson. How are you doing today, Miller? Not bad, Angus. How's things at your end? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. So, what was your first memory of playing football? Can I have your first memory of playing football? I was brought up in a little village in Lanarkshire called Douglas. And Douglas became famous at the time of having um, the best amateur football team in Scotland. And I remember one distinct evening playing for the primary school on Douglas Amateur's pitch. And we won a trophy for the first time ever against our big rivals, Blackwood Primary School. And that will definitely be my first memory of football. So who was the first professional club you played for? Well, the first, there was a couple of clubs I played for that were technically professional. So um, I played for Elgin in the Highland League. But at that time, I was still doing athletics as an amateur athlete. So I never signed professional forms for a football club until I moved to Edinburgh. Um, and I ultimately had one year at Hibs on professional forms. That was the first time. So what was the first professional game you played? The first proper senior game I played was a trial match um, for Stenhouse Muir. They'd called up my junior team, asked if I could play as a trialist against our broth. And um, I had tickets to go and watch Scotland play Samoa in the Rugby World Cup in 1991. Went and played the football instead and ended up signing for Stennis Muir shortly after that. Did you win that game? We drew with our broth. So when was the first time you were asked to sign an autograph by a fan? Oh, um, crikey, not very often is the honest answer. <laughs> there's, definitely, there's definitely been times over the years when Stennis Muir had one or two of their, their kind of more famous cup wins that we signed autographs afterwards. But, but for players at our level, it was a bit of a novelty to sign anything at any time. <laughs> What's the best stadium you've ever played in? Oh, crikey. Um, I think for sheer atmosphere, Celtic Park takes a lot of beating. I kind of grind my teeth talking about that because obviously they're not one of my favourite clubs. Um, however, the this, this stadium is amazing to play in, but I only ever played in there um, in reserve team matches, so it wasn't quite the same. But obviously, playing in the lower leagues, you got to play at Hamden often, and whilst it may lack atmosphere when you're playing there at my level, it was still great to say you played on, on Hamden regularly. Who's the best teammate you've had? Lots of great teammates, particularly in the years at, at, at Stennis Muir. You, you had players like Graham Armstrong that was at, you know, a, a legend at Stennis Muir. You had Eamon Bannon came and played there. Um, we had a regular player called Jimmy Fisher that was fantastic. Um, best direct teammate, though, was probably Gareth Hutchison that I played up front with at Stennis Muir, who went on to play for Falkirk in later years. Did you assist many goals to him? Yeah, well, I suppose we were quite well known because both of us were quick, but obviously I was very tall and it was well known that if I went up for a header, Gareth would be looking to pick it up on the other side because I would flick it on. He would run through it and score. So I take credit for all Gareth's goals. <laughs> Who's the best player you played against? Crikey. Well... There was one game, I remember playing for Clyde in the League Cup at Broadwood, and we played against a Celtic team that had Paul McStay, Paolo Di Canio, Pierre Van Hoydonk, um, and so they were arguably the best players. But in terms of somebody I matched up against, um, I remember playing against Celtic reserves and playing against Mick McCarthy, who, whilst he wasn't the world's tallest, was one of the best players in the air that I've ever played against. Who was faster? Faster, what in terms of me or Mick McCarthy? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I could take I could take almost any defender for pace. There was there was only one or two defenders uh, in all my time playing that could match either myself or Gareth Hutchison for pace, which was what gave Stennis we a big advantage in the years that we were both mm. there. What are the best and worst kits you've ever worn? 
Huh. Now, I knew you were going to ask that question because I know you love your football kits. So, <laughs> just, you know, when I first signed for Steiner Schmuir, they had an absolutely appalling kit. Right? So, this is it. And it was truly awful. I mean, it's just, and I don't know why I still have it to this day. But for me, my favorite kit was the, this Steiner Schmuir one, which, if you can see it, is the kit yeah. from the Challenge final in 1995 so for very special reasons that's my favorite take me a bit of editing there yeah. what, what is the worst boots you've ever worn <laughs> um boots were never that important to me i know that sounds sacrilege in the world where you always talk about coppers and adidas didn't fit my feet my feet were too wide so that didn't work so i always wore a probably either Puma or something similar because they had a wider fit, but I was never that fussed about football boots to be honest. What's the worst performance you've had on a football pitch? <laughs> um, yeah, um, if you ask my former managers, they'd probably come up with something different. <laughs> um, I remember having an absolute shocker against uh, um, it was a a youth match and we played at Pataudry, it was Aberdeen under 16s, I think it was against Glasgow under 16s and I remember breaking from the midfield twice right through absolutely howler in front of the goal, missed both chances and I remember my manager at the time who was Bobby Clark, the ex-Scotland and Aberdeen goalkeeper, just patted me on the back and said, well Miller, at least you were there to miss them and that was about <laughs> as bad as it got. So, he you were involved in the cup upset for a second Hensham against Aberdeen. You won the Challenge Cup, but what was the best moment playing football? Oh, those two are impossible to separate from me for very different reasons. Being a lad from Aberdeen, the Aberdeen game holds a special place. I had to get 50 tickets for the game for all my friends and relatives. I had one uncle and cousin that got their own tickets because I said anybody I got tickets for had to support Stennis Muir. They were <laughs> died in the wool season ticket holders. They got their own tickets, but they were the last two people I saw leaving the stadium cheering <laughs> Stennis Muir at the end of the game. So it was a very, very good game. We deserved to win. Aberdeen in the end were actually quite fortunate. It was only 2-0. But the, the Challenge Cup final, whilst it was probably a shocking game of football because it was a nothing each draw and went to extra time, for Stennis Muir to win a trophy against a Dundee United team that was packed full of top players was just a ridiculous achievement for us. And the highlight, you know, we had an amazing goalkeeper that we borrowed from Hearts from that season, Roddy McKenzie, who, who saved one of the penalties. But that season, I think we had four penalty shootouts and the, the five guys that took the penalties scored 20 out of 20 um, in four penalty shootouts that year. Hard to beat. Good. What was the last ever game you played in football? Um, the last game I played was my final season was with Aloha and I spent a large chunk of the season out injured and I came back with only four or five games to go and I remember with three games to go we were playing East Sterling and if we won we would clinch promotion and I remember scoring a hat-trick in that game and in my mind, that's the last game I played. We, I played in the game in the last game of the season when we actually clinched the league title. But those two games, I'll always remember, because for Aloha at the time, they'd not, they'd not been promoted for something like 70, 70 years. So they were to club. Do you still have the match ball from that hat trick? Um, I do. I do. I've got a couple of match balls from the days. Um, the first one was not long after Terry Christer became manager at Stennis Muir and we were playing East Stirling again, funnily enough, and I scored four against East Stirling and Terry had told me the following training session, he said, you know Miller, I came and watched you numerous times um, before I became manager and I always thought you were absolutely crap, but actually you look okay today. <laughs> See, did you, get, did you get all the players to sign the match ball after you scored the hat trick? Yes. Yeah. Always. You have to do that. Mm -hmm. What's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Best piece of advice? In footballing terms, the best piece of advice? Yeah. Um, 
that's a difficult question. Um, I had so many good coaches over the, over the time. I'm trying to think. Um, best piece of advice is to stay fit, stay healthy, and look after yourself. I think it's probably I had two or three managers that were very big on making sure you looked after yourself, and I think that mm -hmm. that made a massive difference. And just finally, when was the last time you had to pay for a ticket to go for football to a football match? Um, every time I go to Stenhousemuir, I still have to pay for my ticket. Um, I've been I've been a few times. Um, I go try and go every year because I, I it's a community owned club and I own some shares in the club, so I still support the club. Um, they're very close to my heart in that sense. And but no, if I go, I've always insisted on paying. Albeit the very last time I was there, I was a guest of the club and I didn't have to pay. See, do you still get recognised when you go to Stenhousemuir? <laughs> yeah. Bizarrely, yes. Uh, so the, the Stennis Muir supporters are a very loyal bunch and they're probably the same supporters as when I played a lot of them. Um, and to be fair, some of the directors are the same directors as when I played there in the early, mid, early to mid-1990s. Right, Miller, that wraps it up. Thank you for coming on. It's been a pleasure. No, you're more than welcome. Cheers, Angus. Thank you.